thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on new skincare releases. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I was just perusing the internet, minding my own business, and I saw so many new skincare products out there that I haven't really seen a lot of love on the YT. So I thought I would just pop in here really fast and talk about a few of them. Some of them I do want to get, I'm very interested in. And at the end of the video, if you've tried any of these and if you like them or don't like them really chime in below and let us know about it and I think that's really helpful for all of us to know if a product is working or is not so with all that being said I'm gonna go ahead and put on my read and I'm going to either have the product on screen either slide in here or slide in there it just depends <laughs> on what's going on when I edit. So let's get into the first one. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is by Elizabeth Arden, and this is their Pavage Anti-Aging Daily Serum 2.0. So evidently this is like a part to a new and improved serum, and this serum has lots of antioxidants, and as you all know, antioxidants are really good at neutralizing free radicals, and you can just, kind, just to kind of make it easy, one main a free radical that I can think of is smoke. Like uh, let's say you go somewhere and you come in contact with secondhand smoke. Uh, that's a good example of a free radical. So it does provide antioxidants to help with that. It's got a peptide blend as well. So this looks like something really good. All right, so the next one is a newer brand. I'm not familiar with it. I'm thinking it's a indie brand, but the name of it is Naturopathica. I am think I'm pronouncing that right. And this company pretty much draws a holistic healing practice to create potential herbal skincare and it claims to deliver real results for a deeper beauty but the particular product that I'm talking about is their marshmallow micro algae sensitivity soothing cream so the marshmallow is going to address any um, sensitivity that you have help with irritation and redness the micro algae is going to calm and nourish the skin and they also have Sasha Inchi I think I'm pronouncing that right, which is native to South America. And this particular ingredient is enriched with omega-3 and it also has antioxidant properties. So there's that antioxidants, um, which is something that we all want in our skincare. And I just do need to mention, they don't have this as a list of benefits, but when I look at the ingredients, I noticed that it has uh, lactic acid in it. I also noticed that at the very bottom, it does have citric acid. So I just wanted to make you all aware of that. Always again, guys, look at the ingredients from the first one all the way to the last one. I've preached it for many years in my videos. Just continue to do it because you never know. There could be something in there that you're allergic to or anything. So always check the ingredients. All right, so this next one is by The End Beauty Project. And this is actually on Sephora. I've never even seen this. Um, you can only get it online. But this is their Slushy Serum Moisturizer. And this moisturizer is going to help with pores, rough and dull skin. Um, it's also going to do a good job of, or claims to do a good job to make your skin smooth and clear. Looks like it's infused with Bucachoil, Hyaluronic Acid, Yuza. So yeah, that seems like a really good product, especially if you can buy it and actually see results. Um, I also like the price. All of their skincare products in that brand appear to be really affordable. So it looks like Makeup Revolution has a new line out, and with this line you're going to get a overnight nourishing cream oil uh, it claims to have a silky lightweight texture with primrose oil vitamin e to help strengthen your skin barrier looks like you get an overnight restoring concentrate uh, which is a blend of lavender essential oils and botanical extracts you get an overnight soothing sleeping mask 
an overnight calming dream mist. So for the full collection, it looks like it's going to be $40. That's not something that I would uh, necessarily gravitate to, but if you're familiar with this brand, um, especially their skincare, let us know. But yeah, it seems very affordable. All right, so this next one is by Wishful, and it looks like this is a purifying, detoxifying, and intense version of their Yo Glow that gives instant and long-term results for your face and body uh, but this particular product is packed with a full powerful clarifying oil absorbing and smoothing ingredients uh, it has charcoal a a AHA, BHA, pineapple, and papaya enzyme, and witch hazel. I have to say that if I could catch this one on sale, I would like to try it. I do have the Wishful Cleansing Balm, and I love it to death. Um, I try to use it sparingly because I don't want to hurry up and use it up, but whenever I do, I definitely will repurchase, and I'm happy with it. So because I'm happy with their Cleansing Balm, I might give this one a try. Only if I can get it on sale though. So it looks like the popular uh, brand of Beauty Bakery has a skincare line. Looks like it's called the Beauty Bakery Skin and it looks like uh, it's coming sometime in January so you can definitely be on the lookout. I'm trying to see. It doesn't give much information about the ingredients but it looks like you get a toner and looks like you also get a moisturizer, an exfoliating facial, and a cleansing face wash so yeah i don't see a price but if i know beauty bakery it's not going to be on the cheap end so definitely um, if you're interested in that brand and want to support that brand definitely check it out i didn't even know they had it All right, so next is glow recipe and it looks like they have a recovery serum this is an avocado ceramide recovery serum it looks like it's 42 dollars and it looks like it's formulated to target dehydration irritation redness sensitivity and it has a ceramide 5 in it which is supposed to uniquely mimic and strengthen the skin barrier. Area. So I only have uh, one skincare product by Glow Recipe and that is their, their Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. I use that at night. I have been using that probably going on two years and it's a very thicker mask and that is applied last and when I wake up in the morning my skin is so soft and beautiful. I love it. So this might be one that I might check out. If you've tried it and you like it, definitely let me know down in the comments. So next we have a new skincare line by Desi and if y'all don't know it she's a youtuber and looks like she has a Claro QC vitamin C glow serum so for this particular product I am very interested in it I am going to see if I can find reviews and see how people like it I do love the ingredient of vitamin C as you all know it helps to you know brighten hyperpigmentation and things like that plus it's a serum and serums are always good so if you are a Desi fan and want to support her, you might want to check that one out. But I'm going to wait to see what reviews are like on this one. All right, so the next one is by Glossy Air. And looks like this is a concentrated cleanser that exfoliates, clarifies, and re-energizes the skin in 60 seconds. So this one too has like a little cocktail. It's got grape ferment. It's got lactic acid as well as malic acid, which which, as you all know, when you see those types of acids, you know they're going to gently exfoliate dead skin and dead patches that you know any, that you may have. It's also got amino acid surfacants, uh, which give the formula its soft, silky lather. So this one seems interesting, uh, but again, this is another one that I want to wait to. Um, see reviews on. All right, so I actually have this one and I bought it right when it dropped and I'm actually loving it. I'm going to have this in an upcoming review, but this is by Cora Organics and this is their new turmeric glow moisturizer. Oh, first of all, look at the packaging. Okay, so the skincare, the actual skincare that's in that, that has nothing to do with the packaging, but isn't it gorgeous? So anyway, the turmeric contains antioxidants which are going to visibly brighten, calm, and protect. 
So if you've got sensitive skin and you're trying to address hyperpigmentation, it also has desert date oil in it, which is going to moisturize and smooth. And it's also got marine microalgae, which is going to make the skin supple. And I just like using this one at night. It works really good at night. But again, you all be on the lookout for that one because I'm going to give a detailed review about that baby. All right, so the next one is by Pharmacy Beauty. And it looks like this is their Sweet Apple Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I've used um, another, off the top of my head, I can't think of the other one because it was years ago that I used it and actually used it all up and loved it. But I loved that one and I really want to try this one because that one was so good. And also there are little micro beads in it, but according to pharmacy, those little beads actually emulsify and just break up and disappear. So that's one that I gotta say, I definitely want to try. I have so many cleansing bombs because, you know, there was one point in time I was just on the quest to find the perfect cleansing bomb, like which one could just totally break up the makeup the fastest but this is one I want to try. Okay, so the next one is by Fresh Beauty and it looks like this is another overnight mask and it's called the White Truffle Overnight Mask and it's supposed to reveal a smooth, firm, and youthful look. So with this mask, I do like the fact that it says it's supposed to help firm the skin, so, but uh, the consistency looks like it's probably something uh, that you will want to use at night. And I just say that because it looks extremely thin. But when products say that they firm, help with elasticity, dullness, and texture, and hyperpigmentation, I'm so there. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like a really good product. All right, and so the next one, these are Makeup Wipes by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this gently dissolves dirt oil, removing even the most stubborn waterproof makeup looks while leaving skin fresh, healthy, and glowing. Now, I'm gonna tell you all, I don't use makeup wipes anymore. Um, I stopped using them probably about a year and a half ago. I do have them for my hands. To remove my makeup, I use a really, really good melting balm to cleanse it. And then I go in a second time with my regular cleanser. Um, sometimes I do triple cleanse, but most times I double cleanse. Cleanse. But the reason that I got away from using the wipes is because those, you know, over time can cause wrinkles, stretching of the skin and things like that. And you just want to avoid as much as that as possible. So, you know, I think that makeup wipes are good, but not necessarily for removing your makeup. All right, so the next one is by Herbivore's Botanicals, and this is their Cloud Jelly Pumping Hydration. Oh my goodness, that looks so divine. It's got tremella mushrooms in it, and it says that this can hold up to five times its weight in water, and it's significantly proven to retain moisture better than topical hyaluronic acid and remember anytime you're using your hyaluronic acid uh your your skin does have to have um already be moist to uh, be able to keep that on i have heard people say that um the hyaluronic acid dries them out but you do have to have some type of moisture already going on on your skin so anyway that's it short and sweet let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these if you plan on trying any of these and if you did how did they work for you let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches